so you have a floor joist that's cut or damaged or cracked and you need to fabricate a repair this method is commonly called sistering on a joist we're going to put new material in here and fix this up we'll show you how now in this case we're going to use the adjustable post as a temporary lift only so we will be removing it after the repair the flat end of the plate goes towards the side you're lifting and then we're going to turn it and snug it up a quick note on lifting or jacking your house up there's nothing wrong if you're a new do-it-yourself or to pause at this time consult with a builder structural engineer you want to make sure you're not lifting your house too quickly okay we've closed up the gap about as tight as I'm going to get it it took 50 or more years to to drop down to that level so I feel good about that we'll go ahead and start the next step which is the new piece of material the new floor joist and we'll sister on the repair Okay, a new piece of material in place now on this side of the cut we got lucky there's actually a structural beam in the middle of the house that's plenty of support so we're going to back it up over that all right guys screws versus nails this argument has been raging for a long time screws are probably easier to use However, they have less shear strength as it's holding the material on. If that floor joist was to drop, they actually can snap. A screw will snap much easier than a framing nail. A framing nail will have stronger shear rate and will be stronger in that application. So use whichever fastener you want. Don't worry, we'll cut that part out. All the nails are in, but you also want to use some heavy-duty hardware. This is holding up the floors after all. I'm going to use some 5 inch carriage bolts. Alright, definitely use washers first, guys. And the nut. Okay, so we're using four through, through bolts. Go ahead and tighten everything up. Okay, with everything tight and the new sister dot repaired floor joist in place, you're good to start slowly loosening up your temporary jack. All right, guys, that does it. Our permanent repair is in place. Hopefully this repair will last 100 years. I bet you can do it yourself.